Hi everyone, Mimi's Murals here. I just finished a four day mural. This is in a church. And let's see if I can get the whole thing for you. This is 104 feet of beachy underwater goodness. Now, the church's youth group is called the Big Fish, which is an acronym. Don't ask me what it's for, although I do know and I can't remember. Uh, so it was a natural to do an underwater theme on this wall. And this is what I affectionately call a quantity mural, which means I kind of plan out about 80% of it, and then it is literally how much can I physically get done on your budget. So um, as I'm painting certain colors, for example, this purple worked really well, so I used a lot of it because it was painting quickly and easily so that I could get more bang for their buck. Also, because this is such a huge mural, I had the um, church actually do the base coats, just the um, background, not all the detail, but just the background color for the sky and the water, and that saved me, obviously, some time. This side over here is cinder block, which paints a little differently. And then this is the beach side. And as you can see, a little kid fishing. There's a little pelican. This is my favorite technique, which I know you've seen all over because I use it a lot because it just looks so cool. Lighthouse. Sunshine. And this was fun because we kind of came up with a list of items that we wanted to include and then I just went to town squeezing in as many of them as I could on the time frame that I had. Absolutely love the little sand castle. It doesn't photo very well, but it's pretty. And here's my favorite, a snorkeler. And then there's a biplane with the banner for the big fish. More palm trees, beach blanket. We also included the footsteps from the Bible saying. Here you can see those. And then I'm going to swing back around. This is, let me walk out this way here. This is the gymnasium. So this walkway coming up, this is the first thing you see walking in. So we tried to make this the focal point. And as you can see too, we included a Bible as the treasure inside the treasure chest. And there you have it. This was a lot of fun and a lot of work, but I think it turned out great. Bye.